they all feel and look like crap compared to these. Tip number one, never ever wear these while driving. The noise cancelling is just insane. Everything is gone. Even that stupid truck over there. I can barely hear it if I turn it off again. Yeah. Huge difference. And I really have to repeat what I already said a couple of months ago about these right here. It feels like, like being a cyborg. You plug it in and you can decide if you want to hear your environment or if you don't want to hear it. And it works almost perfectly. There is in the transparency mode like a little white noise, like a hiss that doesn't like bother me at all. And when listening to music is gone entirely, your own voice sounds a little weird and noise canceling, it just dims everything around you. Very, very fascinating, absolutely love it. And once you turn it off again, you just realize how loud the world actually is around you. It's brilliant. But next up, let's actually talk about the build quality and the sound and comparing them to every other pair of headphones I actually own. So yeah, quite a lot of headphones, some for mixing, some for DJing, some for listening, some very, very heavy, very, very big, very, very expensive, 1,700 euros. Some of them are like 50, 60 bucks, some 100, some 200, some 300, some 400, everything is here. But I have to say, like just looking at these, touching them, they all feel and look like crap compared to these. I mean, yes, the style is a matter of taste, but the build quality is insane. Every material feels just silky smooth, expensive, well thought out, precise. There is, there is nothing I could complain about these when it comes to the build quality. Adjusting them, it just feels good. It's the right amount of tension, like not too little, not too much. That's, it feels like even these, they have a wood finish. They're nice, but it, it feels like someone made them at home. These have like a similar kind of plastic feel to it, but then again, cable sticking out here and there. And again, and these always look like they're, they're going to break every second. Although I absolutely love them for DJing. So Apple got all of them beat, build quality, look, feel, material, even how you wear them. They feel the most comfortable by far. And the headband, although they're heavy, it, it doesn't like you don't feel them as much. Like the weight distribution is really amazing. You got the crown right here. Nice. The click of it is nice. You can take the earpieces off and replace them. Magnetic, very satisfying. So when it comes to style, build quality again, all of them feel like trash. I don't know how Apple does it, but they've pulled it off again. Now let's compare all of these. I will listen to all of them. Same volume, same converters, same attachment, same song, same loop. Some of my own songs just to get a feel for what they actually sound like. All done with work, all done with making music, all done working on that song that I played to you yesterday. I'll play you a little more in the outro. Headphones, I tested all of them directly against the ones by Apple and it's a little hard to describe. They sound good 
first of all. They sound transparent, they sound very consumer, which they are, definitely. These are not studio grad headphones, those are not audiophile headphones. For that, you'll need a cable, you'll need a converter. These are consumer headphones. And actually, really good sounding consumer headphones. I'd say 99.9% .9 of people that just listen to music, if they would listen to these, they would say they sound amazing. Do they sound like 600 euros? Not really. It's, it's a little like the same as they do with the iPhone. They, they have like a cheap camera that is bad, but then with some magic and some software, they somehow get it to a really good point. But there's still a difference to a professional camera that pros will definitely see and hear in this case. But for, for the normal person out there, that's as good as it gets. It's comparable to one of my favorite scenes in The Matrix, like the guy that betrays everyone that wants to go back into The Matrix, although he knows it's fake and just to eat his steak. The Matrix is telling my brain that it is juicy and delicious. It's the same right here. It's not really the thing, but it delivers somehow. I'm fine with that. All that counts is the end result. And another little comparison, these right here, basically like a Formula One car, just made for pure sound quality. Just one thing they're good at. There is no way you can go anywhere else with this. And these right here are more like a Lamborghini, a Ferrari, something expensive that was meant for racing, but no one actually uses for racing. Something for people that love build quality, good look, that it just works. Plus, of course, the coolness factor, these kind of things. It's the same as with the cars. That's what you pay extra for. All in all, these are surprisingly good headphones. I don't think anyone buying them will complain about these. Yes, they're overpriced. Yes, you pay a premium for the build quality, for the look and the convenience. If you're purely interested in sound quality, these are not for you. If you want to DJ with them, no. These will look like trash, at least like the kind of clubs I'm DJing it. No way they will stay clean. If you're a producer in the studio, get some other headphones with a cable a converter. It makes way more sense. You get better sound quality for the price. But high-end consumer convenience, everyday, on-the-go headphones, these are perfect. Except for, for the case, I didn't even bother taking it out of the box. It's just ugly. And the price, 400. And for people that are interested in that kind of sound quality and build quality, yes, a no-brainer. Extremely good. I'm surprised. I just wish they would be a little bit less expensive. So let me know what you think about these. I will keep on testing them. I will keep you updated. I also want to try them out for music production. Let me know if that's something that is interesting to you. And we'll see us tomorrow back again here in the studio working, continuing working on, on the track that I'll play to you right now. For sure.